With the groundbreaking James Webb Space Telescope, we're about to unveil nine captivating images that redefine the boundaries of space exploration. Get ready, because the universe just got a lot more intriguing. Image number one, the enigmatic galaxy, NGC 5408 galaxies, vast congregations of stars, dust, and gas often dance across the night sky in recognizable spiral or elliptical patterns. But have you ever stumbled upon one that just doesn't fit the mold? One that, instead of following the norm, champions its own chaotic, unrefined form. Enter NGC 5408, a galaxy that refuses to be boxed into typical descriptions. NGC 5408, residing in the Centaurus constellation, was first jotted down by the English polymath John Herschel in June 1834. But there's a twist. For the longest time, it was masquerading as something else. Astronomers for years assumed it to be a planetary nebula, which is essentially an expelled, glowing shell of gas and dust from an old dying star. But NGC 5408 had other plans. It later revealed its true identity as an irregular galaxy situated approximately 16 million light years from our home planet. Now you might wonder, what's a light year? Simply put, a light year is the distance that light travels in a year. So when we say NGC 5408 is 16 million light years away, imagine the immensity of space that light has to cover for 16 million years to get from NGC 5408 to Earth. Diving deeper into NGC 5408's peculiarities, it houses a mysterious entity named NGC 5408X1. This isn't just any celestial object, it's an ultra-luminous X-ray source. Think of it as a cosmic lighthouse, but instead of light, it emits a massive burst of X-rays. Such sources are incredibly rare and intriguing to scientists. But why? Astrophysicists speculate that these ultra-luminous X-ray sources, including NGC 5408X1, might be hiding intermediate mass black holes within them. But wait. What's an intermediate mass black hole? Picture black holes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. The small ones form when gigantic stars end their life in a fiery explosion, while the large ones, or supermassive black holes, can be billions of times heavier than our sun and typically lurk in the centers of galaxies. The intermediate mass black holes, however, sit right in the middle. They're heftier than the stellar black holes but nowhere near as massive as their supermassive counterparts. NGC 5408X1 might just be holding one of these elusive middleweights inside. With NGC 5408's unique form and its potential connection to intermediate mass black holes, it's no surprise that this galaxy has both puzzled and fascinated astronomers for nearly two centuries. It's a cosmic rebel in the truest sense challenging our understanding and beckoning us to explore the vast, wondrous mysteries of the universe. Image number two, the luminous heart of NGC 2217. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered about the dazzling mysteries it holds? Among these celestial wonders lies NGC 2217, also cataloged as AM0619-271, nestled within the constellation of Canis Major which translates to the greater dog. Picture a distant shimmering city, approximately 65 million light years away from us, so far that the light we see from it today started its journey when dinosaurs still roamed our Earth. NGC 2217 is not just any galaxy, it's a barred spiral one. When we think of a bar, we might picture a long straight piece of metal or wood, but in the cosmic context, this bar is made up of innumerable stars, densely packed and radiating light, creating a bright central streak. This galaxy is similar in size to our home, the Milky Way, stretching about 100,000 light years from one end to the other. Imagine traveling across such an expanse. It's a journey you'd be on for a very, very long time. But why is this central bar significant? Well, in galaxies like NGC 2217, this bar acts as a sort of cosmic conveyor belt it directs and funnels gas from the outer disk regions to the galaxy's very heart. Once there, this gas and dust have two main destinies. Some will come together, under the influence of gravity, to birth new stars 
adding to the galaxy's already glowing population. Others, however, have a different fate. They get consumed by a lurking giant, the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy. Now, you might be thinking, what's a supermassive black hole? Think of it as an invisible pit, so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. These cosmic entities are often heavy, ranging from a few hundred to over a billion times the weight of our sun. And the surprising part, almost every large galaxy, including NGC 2217 and our own Milky Way, houses one of these enigmatic behemoths. In the grand scheme of the universe, NGC 2217 is a shining example of how galaxies evolve and transform, driven by their internal dynamics and the colossal forces at their cores. It serves as a mesmerizing reminder of the intricate ballet of stars, gas, and dust, playing out millions of light years away, yet connected in the vast tapestry of the cosmos. Image number three, the cosmic dance of bars and births. Have you ever looked at a spinning pinwheel and been mesmerized by its motion? Now, imagine a colossal pinwheel in the vast expanse of space, intricately designed by stars, gas, and cosmic wonders. This is NGC 7541, a galaxy that proudly wears its title as a barred spiral and can be found resting within the constellation of Pisces, often symbolized as the fishes. So what sets NGC 7541 apart from the countless galaxies sprinkled across the universe? For one, this majestic entity was captured in intricate detail by the James Webb Space Telescope allowing us to peek into its cosmic intricacies. But there's more to this story. At the heart of this galaxy lies a unique feature, a luminous bar composed of gas and stars. Think of this bar as a bustling city center that breathes life into its surroundings. As it slices through the galaxy's core, it plays a vital role. The bar stirs up activity, reigniting processes that may have been dormant or even sparking entirely new celestial events, such as star births, and the awakening of active galactic nuclei. But why does this matter? Well, imagine you're in a giant cosmic kitchen. To cook up stars, you need ingredients, right? These bars essentially act as cosmic chefs, gathering up the necessary materials and pushing them towards the center, making the conditions just right to whip up some new stars. It's like adding fuel to a fire, intensifying the brightness and warmth. Evidence suggests that such bars are not rare. In fact, they might exist in nearly two-thirds of all spiral galaxies. And guess what? Our very own Milky Way, our galactic address in the universe, is believed to have one of these bars, too. Interestingly, NGC 7541 isn't just any barred spiral galaxy. It boasts a higher rate of star formation than most, supporting the theory that these bars might indeed be cosmic nurseries. Acting as caretakers, they gather the essential elements, channeling them inwards to craft and cradle brand new baby stars. And just a hop, skip, and a jump away, in cosmic terms, of course. NGC 7541 has a galactic neighbor, NGC 7537. Together, they form a stunning duo, located about 110 million light years from Earth. That's a distance so massive that the light we see today left NGC 7541 when dinosaurs were just starting to make their mark on our planet. As we delve deeper into the universe, galaxies like NGC 7541 remind us of the ever-evolving nature of space, where bars aren't just about stars but also about the birth and rebirth of cosmic wonders. Image 4. Stellar Salts in the Cosmic Fabric Imagine spilling a pinch of salt onto a dark canvas, each grain glowing with its own distinct brilliance. That's the visual spectacle that NGC 1755, an open star cluster, offers to our eyes through the lens of the James Webb Space Telescope. This sparkling assembly is nestled within the Dorado constellation, often likened to a goldfish in the vast aquatic realm of the cosmos. Located in our Milky Way's nearby cosmic companion, the Large Magellanic Cloud, NGC 1755 stretches an expansive 120 light years across. Now, if you're thinking, isn't 120 light years enormous? Here's a fun perspective. Compared to other celestial congregations, 
NGC 1755 is considered on the petite side. But what exactly is a star cluster? In the simplest terms, think of it as a family gathering of stars, all tied together by the unseen but powerful force of gravity. These clusters can be classified into two primary types, open clusters, much like our very own NGC 1755. These are the more youthful bunch, brimming with younger stars, reminiscent of energetic teenagers at a family reunion. Globular clusters, the grander and more seasoned groups, home to millions of stars that have seen many more cosmic cycles, like the wise elders in a family. With its deep gaze, Webb delved into NGC 1755's heart, aiming to decipher the intriguing mystery of coexisting star populations within. When we talk about a population of stars, we mean a group of them sharing certain features, such as age or chemical makeup. Just as humans of the same age group might have shared experiences or cultural touchstones, stars of similar populations can offer a collective story about their birth, journey, and eventual fate. Why is this important? Because understanding these populations in clusters like NGC 1755 offers astronomers a front row seat to the grand theater of stellar evolution. They're like cosmic time capsules, preserving the tales of stars past, present, and future. And the Magellanic Clouds, given their closeness to our Milky Way, serve as excellent cosmic classrooms for this purpose. In this sprawling universe, NGC 1755 and its stars stand as luminous storytellers. Their tales, old and new, give us a glimpse into the ever-evolving dance of the cosmos, proving that there's always more to learn, even from the tiniest sprinkling of stars. Image 5. The Luminous Pulse of NGC, 1433. Have you ever wondered about the mysteries that lie in the universe's expansive tapestry? Through the lens of the James Webb Space Telescope, we've been granted an intimate view of one such enigma, the spiral galaxy NGC 1433. Residing in the Horologium constellation, often associated with the concept of time, this galaxy is about 30 million light-years from our home planet. But NGC 1433 isn't just any spiral galaxy. It's a Seyfert galaxy, which means it's part of an exclusive club that only about 10% of all galaxies can claim membership in. What makes a Seyfert galaxy stand out? It's all about the radiant heart. These galaxies have brilliantly glowing centers, radiating light so vibrant it rivals even the center of our very own Milky Way. Now you might be curious, what makes these galaxy cores so fascinating? And why do astronomers seem so engrossed in them? The answer lies deep within these hearts. It's believed that nestled at the center of most galaxies, perhaps all of them, is a supermassive black hole. This cosmic behemoth is surrounded by a swirling dance of material, drawn inexorably inward. So how do we uncover the secrets of such distant, radiant centers? Enter the Legacy Extragalactic UV Survey, a Legus. This ambitious project peers into the ultraviolet tails of 50 nearby galaxies, including NGC 1433. Ultraviolet light, primarily emitted by newly formed stars, can also originate from the energetic regions surrounding a galaxy's central black hole, known as accretion disks. When it comes to Seyfert galaxies like NGC 1433, studying this ultraviolet glow gives us invaluable insights into the behavior of gas near the black hole. Picture this, a mesmerizing dance of light and energy revealing the gas's intricate movements as it orbits the galaxy's gravitational heart. But Legus isn't just looking at ultraviolet. By blending a cocktail of ultraviolet, visible, and infrared light observations, we're gaining a fuller picture of these galaxies' inner workings and structures. And speaking of surprises, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, has already thrown us a curveball regarding NGC 1433. Deep within its luminous heart, ALMA detected a previously unnoticed spiral pattern in the molecular gas. Even more intriguing, there's a jet of material being pushed out from the black hole's vicinity. And while this might sound extensive, it stretches just 150 light years, making it the tiniest such outflow spotted in a galaxy outside our Milky Way. With every observation and discovery, NGC 1433 unfurls more of its tail. Through the combined efforts of telescopes like Webb and ALMA, 
We're inching closer to understanding the luminous pulses and hidden rhythms of galaxies like NGC 1433, each revelation taking us one step further in the cosmic dance of the universe. Image 6. Peeling back layers in a galactic treasure hunt. Imagine standing on a beach, gazing at a vast ocean, with each wave carrying thousands of glittering particles. The James Webb Space Telescope offers a similar but cosmic panorama, revealing countless galaxies scattered across the universe. Picture each luminous point in this canvas as a distinct galaxy, with one lone shimmer not belonging to that distant ensemble, a star from our very own Milky Way that photobombed the view. Nestled at the heart of this starry spectacle is the pulsating core of a massive galaxy cluster, Dubois Chao J24, 3324, 8.477. But this isn't just any cluster, it's the site of the leading galaxy, which stands out like a lighthouse amongst ships in the celestial sea of the Cetus constellation. But how does the universe organize its vast collection of stars and galaxies? Let's break it down. Think of the universe as a city. In this city, stars are like houses, grouping around specific blocks, which are galaxies. These galaxies then join hands to form local neighborhoods or groups. Taking it a step further, these galaxy groups merge to create massive burrows or clusters. It's a cosmic hierarchy built upon the pull of gravity. This brings us to an intriguing question. What holds these colossal clusters together? The answer is partly in what we cannot see. Dark matter and dark energy. These mysterious entities are the architects of the universe's structure. While they remain unseen and largely unknown, their impact is monumental. They're responsible for knitting together these galaxy clusters and by studying clusters like WHLJ24, 3,324, 8.477, scientists hope to lift the veil on the enigmatic nature of dark matter and energy. To give a sense of its distant location, WHLJ24, 3,324, 8.477, is characterized by a redshift value of Z equals sine zero, 566. In layman's terms, redshift is a measure used to estimate how far away celestial bodies are from us, based on how much their emitted light has been stretched or shifted the higher the redshift, the farther the object, and the older the light we are seeing. Studying such far-off clusters provides a window into the universe's early days, making it a captivating form of cosmic archaeology. So each time we delve into images from telescopes like James Webb, we're not just admiring distant lights. We're journeying through time, uncovering tales of the universe's formative epics. Number 7. A Cosmic Dance Between Galaxies in the vast expanse of space, galaxies are not always isolated entities. Sometimes, they come so close that they begin a cosmic dance, tugging and pulling at each other due to their gravitational forces. Such is the captivating scene in the image of ARP 273, a pair of galaxies situated 300 million light-years away in the Andromeda constellation. The larger galaxy in this duo has a silhouette that's not quite ordinary. It's a bit stretched, bent, and contorted. Why does it look this way? It's like witnessing footprints on the sand. Something or someone passed by and left a mark. And in the case of ARP 273, that something is the neighboring smaller galaxy. It's believed that this smaller galaxy ventured so close that it passed through its larger companion. Just imagine two cosmic entities so immense and powerful, with one making its path directly through the heart of another. What happens when two galaxies cross paths in such a manner? Picture a pebble being thrown into a calm pond. The ripples that spread outward are similar to the gravitational disruptions caused in the larger galaxy by the smaller one's passage. This phenomenon is known as tidal interaction, where the gravity of a smaller body, like the smaller galaxy in ARP 273, influences a larger body, the bigger galaxy, reshaping it in the process. Isn't it fascinating how even at such grand cosmic scales, entities can influence and reshape each other? This captivating interaction gives us insights into the dynamic nature of our universe. How many more such interactions are out there, waiting to be discovered? How do these interactions shape the evolutionary story of galaxies? With every glimpse into the universe, 
we unravel a bit more of the vast tapestry of celestial tales waiting to be told. Image 8. Peering deeper, the expansive reach of the Cosmos Web Field versus Hubble ACS Field. As we gaze up at the night sky, it appears vast and endless. But when scientists set out to study it, they often focus on specific patches of the sky, trying to see as much detail as they can within those chosen confines. The Cosmos Web Survey and the Hubble ACS field offer two compelling yet different perspectives of the universe. Imagine for a moment looking at the night sky and spotting three full moons side by side. That's roughly the space that the Cosmos Web Survey plans to scrutinize. Covering an impressive 0.6 square degrees of the sky, this survey aims to capture a panoramic snapshot of space using the James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, NIR-CAM instrument. But that's not all. While NIR-CAM is busily documenting that vast stretch, another part of the James Webb Space Telescope, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, focuses its attention on a slightly more concentrated patch. This 0.2 square degree section might be smaller, but think about the depth and details it can potentially unveil. Now, if you've ever seen a jigsaw puzzle in progress, you'll notice how pieces fit together to form a coherent picture. The Hubble field's outline is a bit like that. Slightly jagged, a mosaic created from different images that, when assembled, give us a comprehensive view of that portion of the sky. What stories do these sections of the universe hold? Why might scientists choose one section over another for their studies? Each choice, each focus is a journey into understanding the mysteries of the cosmos a bit more. As we continue to explore, we must remember that every patch of sky has its unique narrative, waiting to be unraveled. The instruments we use, like NIRCAM and MIRI, are merely our tools to delve deeper into these cosmic tales. And as technology evolves, who knows what further secrets we might uncover in the vast tapestry of the universe. Image 9 decoding the heart of our galaxy, a vivid mosaic in infrared. As we journey into the heart of our home galaxy, the Milky Way, we're presented with a vibrant tableau that defies our ordinary vision. Through an intricate composite infrared image, the central core of the Milky Way unfurls secrets previously hidden from our eyes. This detailed view offers a mesmerizing mosaic, a fusion of colors that represent different temperatures and elements shining light on a region that stretches over 300 light years. Now, why is this part of our galaxy so significant? Well, nestled within these cosmic confines, a new population of massive stars has been identified. These aren't just any stars. They're titans, carrying immense energy and profoundly influencing their surroundings. So what can these stars in this vivid image tell us? The interactions and behaviors observed in this central region give scientists crucial clues about the birth, life, and tumultuous interactions of massive stars. Imagine being able to peer into the inner workings of nature's grandest factories of stars, right from our own cosmic backyard. And this isn't just about our Milky Way. This sharp, unparalleled infrared image provides a kind of local laboratory. When astronomers peer into the fiery core regions of distant galaxies, they can compare their observations with what they see in the Milky Way's center. This helps them draw conclusions and theories about how massive stars form, live, and often end their lives in dramatic explosions in galaxies far, far away. Sitting roughly 25,000 light years away from us and residing in the constellation of Sagittarius, this center is more than just a point in space. It's a testament to the dynamism and complexity of galaxies. With every new observation, especially ones as detailed as this, we inch closer to unraveling the mysteries of our universe. Just think, what other wonders might the heart of the Milky Way be waiting to reveal? We hope you were as mesmerized by these stunning glimpses from the James Webb Space Telescope as we were. Which image resonated with you the most and why? Dive into the comments and share your thoughts. And if you're as passionate about the wonders of the cosmos as we are, do us a favor, like this video, hit that subscribe button, and click on the video appearing on your screen now for another exhilarating space adventure. Until next time, keep looking at